If you have not heard of Manus AI as yet, you'll be hearing about it very, very soon. Think of it as a supercharged ChatGPT. So instead of giving an input and getting an output based upon a pre-trained LLM, Manus is an agentic tool. So that means it's able to go out, read the live web. You can see it actually going through specific screens and read every single thing on that screen and think very intelligently to give you outputs. And the outputs that you get vary based upon what you would like. So you can get much more intelligent outputs such as infographics, data visualization. It can even create websites. It can code. It can do things much more intelligent than previous models. And just from the demo that we've seen, there's a lot of different use cases and the possibilities are truly just beginning with what Manus can do. In today's video, I'll just be scratching the surface with what you can do. And I'll be sharing some of my favorite and some of the most powerful features and use cases of Manus AI. So let's go ahead and get started. At the time of recording this video, there is a wait list to get into Manus, and that's because they're being bombarded with people wanting to use them. So if you wanted to get started, just head over to get started. You can join the wait list and they will send you an invite code. I definitely recommend taking your time to fill out the information that you're looking for, because that will improve the likeness that you'll be able to get access to Manus. But if we actually go ahead, we can scroll down on the uh, homepage and we can see some of the use cases that Manus has already done. So I've shortlisted some of my favorite and what I think to be some of the most useful um, use cases that they have. So number one is we can see this um, prompt was to find 10 apartments in Prague with two bedrooms for 40K. So this user is looking to find specific apartments with a specific criteria. And as I mentioned earlier, we can see that the AI doesn't just go ahead and maybe read the web and then give you information. It takes the time to go through every single page that's related to this topic. Again, as we can see the task list um, right here on the right hand side, we can see that the AI is going out and reading all of the specific pages. And then it's giving us a table, an apartment comparison table of those apartments that fit the criteria that we were looking for. So if I go ahead and just click watch again, again, we can see what the AI does. It first starts by creating a to do list. Then it goes through thinking models. And then as we can see, it went through Reddit. Then it went to websites specific to the area in which it's looking for. So this allows you to get super accurate information on any type of research in which you're doing. Another related use case was this individual asked the AI for some guidance of startup ideas that do not need a lot of capital. That can be in tech, blah, blah, blah. So low capital tech startup ideas for B2B software. And again, if we go ahead and click watch, we can see where the AI went ahead and found its information. So it suggested new knowledge, knowledge recalled, and then we can see that it executed commands to go and search on these specific websites. And it's not just taking some of the information from the website, it's actually able to extract all of the information from these websites. So you know that you're getting accurate information and it's so quick, right? When you use the web mode on different um, applications like ChatGPT, Claude now has web mode enabled, it takes a little bit of time, right? It takes some time. You don't always get the most relevant information. So this is agentic. So that means you go from asking it and uh, some information. And then from there, it's able to go out into these different places. And it goes into these different places very, very quickly. And it ha knows exactly what it needs to extract, takes that information, and then it's able to then formulate that into the best output for you. And as you can see here, you can get the code, you can get a PDF, you can copy it, you can download it. It makes it very, very easy for you to get your content back from, um, from Manus. So that is another use case is that you can do research on different topics. You can get different ideation and you can plan for, let's say you want to buy something or even plan for trips. Another use case would be writing in-depth, high quality content. This individual asked the AI to find me everything that there is to help one rank higher in LLMs, only provide factual information. Let's go ahead and watch this. So again, it's search for LLM ranking information. So it made that search on Google or whatever it is able to find that information from. And then it went in and executed the command. We can see it going through all of these web pages and it's gathering that information. So it doesn't only go on web pages, as you can see before, it went on Reddit, it went in threads. It's able to really deep, dig deep and find that information for you. So this would save you a ton of time, right? And not only does it save you time, it gets you what you want quicker. So it saves you time and it's actually better 
than most other LLMs. So this is going to be a game changer. I don't want to say, but I think that this could be something that could disrupt or even bypass ChatGPT in terms of its capability and use case and just the effectiveness of the AI. Related to writing in-depth content is the ability to write SEO-friendly blog posts and articles. So as you can see, it is very, very easy for it to write articles and blog posts. Again, this is going to disrupt a lot of tools that's out there and disrupt you know people using ChatGPT or Claude to write content because again, you can tell to generate a blog post that passed Google AI content tests with good SEO, right? So this is something that's very, very useful to any sort of writer. We can see it's going on AI SEO, it's going on Surfer SEO, it's going on all these websites and it's getting that information, right? So instead of just using the information that's trained, which is usually a little bit um, historical data or information that's actually not necessarily most relevant to, in today's day and age, especially with things moving so quickly, it's going out and getting the fresh information, the most relevant information and putting that content together. As you can see here, I wrote a pretty good article. Like I, I like this, I think this is awesome. And then again, you can copy it, you can copy over to PDF, use it as you like. Another powerful use case is information gathering, and that could be in the form of getting lead list. So I've seen some use cases where you can actually go in and tell Manus that this is my target demographic, this is our industry niche, and this is the type of person that we're trying to contact. So go out and create a list of these people from these specific websites and put it all into one document. And that's an easy way for you to get a list of your potential customers, and you can use that list and then market to them as you like. So you can create lists much, much quicker or you can tell it to do things such as this individual, which told it to visit the official YC website and compile all enterprise information under the W25B2B tag into a clear, well-structured table. Be sure to find it all. So as you can see, let's go ahead and watch this. So it thought it went on the YC, it went to the startup directory. We can see, so this is using the same technology as MCP from Claude, which again allows it to access the live web. Go on different pages on your computer and read that information. So we can see it going on that page. It's, it's executing the task. Let's skip to results. This is a very in-depth chart. We're not just getting one or two, and this information, what it looks like right now, it looks very, very accurate and um, detailed and exactly what the user was looking for. So again, you can scrape lists, you can get information from websites much, much quicker. Again, just super charging your workflow and the things that you have to do within your business. The next use case that I saw from Manus is the ability to create custom interactive elements. You can create websites, you can create forms. It's really, really good at coding and designing. So you can also create custom visualized data using this tool. So you can create graph, you can create pie charts, you can create, again, as I mentioned, websites. So this individual said that we're a tech consulting firm with in-depth research and technologies in the Gen AI field. Please create a potential customer form for us. Let's go ahead and watch it and see what we're able to get back. And then I told it to create a dashboard based upon that information. Okay, so it wants us to create a form for companies in pre-series B development stage that need AI technology empowerment. So again, this is scraping a list of potential customers or potential people that you wanna get in contact with. If you had to do this manually, this would take you so many hours and it would cost you a lot if you had to pay someone to do it. But again, you can do it in a couple of seconds using this tool. So here is the dashboard. I'm very intrigued to see what this looks like. So this was the dashboard that Manus created. This is absolutely amazing. So you can actually create websites with Manus. It's gonna create you a, um, a space site. So this is another feature that it has that we'll talk about in this video, but it's gonna give you a temporary domain. But this looks great. You can even search companies. So let's go ahead and see if this works frame and it actually works. This is insane, right? You're able to gather all that data and then you're able to create a dashboard in a couple of minutes. You have emails. Wow, that is insane. You have emails and you also have the ability to go on their website through their links. This is absolutely mind blowing, guys. Again, the possibilities are truly, truly endless with what you can do. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see how people start using this tool. Wow, I'm truly amazed by this technology. And it's amazing how far we've come in such a short period of time. So that is another beautiful use case that you have there is that you can generate lists, you can get really, really detailed information. And then you can turn that into interactive elements like a website, 
PDF, you can turn it into infographic and then you can have that information and quickly share that to your team. Another use case is the ability to analyze stocks. So specifically this individual asset to thoroughly analyze the Tesla stock. And we can see that it's going ahead and thoroughly um, analyzing that to give key metrics, performance data, and investment recommendations. And you can do this for your portfolio or your future portfolio. And as you can see here, this will be better than any individual can do research because it can go out into all these different places, get that information with its own knowledge and give you recommendations that you can use in your um, investment. So let's watch how it actually looks like. And if you open up the full view, right? So you can see a lot of different things here. So if, if I open up the full view, I could then view all files in this task and it will show me all the files that's created in this task and I can go in between documents, images, code files and links. And then I can simply copy over this link and use it. So let's go ahead and skip to the results. Here are some of the charts in which it created. So historical stock price, Tesla capital structure, Tesla annual revenue, margin, Tesla profitability margins, Tesla cash flow analysis, and then it went ahead and created a space. So again, a space is going to be places that specific things are going to live. So you can create a space for your specific um, research that you've done. So Tesla stock analysis dashboard. This looks amazing, like absolutely amazing. You got everything that you need here. You can look at your information much, much easier. So think about the capabilities of what you can do with this within your business. You can create dashboards, you can create reports in a matter of seconds, and you can get the data that you need very, very quickly to share that with your team or just to get an overview of whatever things or data you need to see within your business. We are just scratching the surface in what is capable and what people will start doing with this tool. There are thousands of use cases for a tool like this and I cannot wait to get access to it myself. I will definitely be doing a deep dive. And if you guys have any questions and if you would like to share in the comments below how you've used Manus and how you think the AI space is going to change because of this new tool. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.